Hello everyone, this is the continuation to the first video that I've posted. Some of you run into this problem where you plug in your uh, USB device into your PS3 console and then you get prompted into this page where it says no applicable data was found. We will try to resolve and uh, fix this issue. There are a couple of things you can do, so we'll go step by step. Alright, so if you have this message, hopefully we'll get it fixed. So one of the main problem for this issue is the memory stick or the flash USB drive that you use. Anything above 32 GB will not work properly. I've seen it. Uh, as you see on the top, I got the SD uh, SD drive. It's a Samsung Evo. EVO. Do not use this for console modding or uh, anything to do with the gaming and stuff. You can use it for normal like transferring files or videos or whatnot do not use it for uh, uh, updating consoles and stuff because that p piece does not work and in the middle we got an adapter where you could fit the SD cards or anything uh, try to avoid this also uh, mostly that could be the faulty uh, device that's causing it and at the bottom I have this yellow stick it's a 32 GB which will work fantastically in this case all right so try to use anything below 32 gb or up to 32 gb uh flash drive so this way you can uh, format it to fat 32 all right we'll show you on the screen now so here i've inserted my uh, usb flash drive that's 32 gb and it's already been fat formatted to fat 32 but i'm going to do it again here as you see it's a little bit less than 32 it's 29.1 which is perfect in this case so all you do is you right click, you format, and you'll be prompted with the options. Now, if your USB drive is higher than 32, you will not most likely get FAT32. What you will get is NTFS or EXFAT. Now, EXFAT is the second best option for any USB that's higher than 32. It could be 64, 128, or even 500. But for this case, the best, if it's less than 32, where you can select FAT32, that's where you will be able to get that uh, software in there and your console will be able to pick it up easier. Leave the rest as a default, format it, I'll give you a little warning, hit OK on that, and there we go, it's done. Now, so next option is to download the software update. Now there's another problem, if you're going to Google Chrome, for some reason, uh, so basically what what we did here we went to the google we tapped ps3 system software and we grabbed the first link this is the official ps3 link our website and uh, the new latest update is 4.88 so if you click download it does not do anything i'm not sure what's happening here google chrome cannot open this page but if you're using like a firefox or uh, efox anything any other browser you should be able to I've got this already, but here I'm doing it through another browser and it starts downloading. But I ha already have this, so we'll just go to my download section. And here I have the PS3 update. So we're putting, and I've created two other files. As you guys know, uh, you create a file, call it update, all capitals, and you create another folder, call it PS3. So the PS3 update.pop goes inside the update folder. And the update folder goes inside the PS3 and your folder we'll cut it it goes inside your memory stick the one we just formatted to FAT32 and we just paste here give it a little bit of time and once it's done we'll eject it and we'll put it inside our uh, PS3 system all right we're here at the console I've plugged my uh, USB on the furthest right slot and the controller is connected the furthest left. Now, there is some theory that during the upload, when the system is trying to uh, read the USB, it's best to unplug the controller because system will try to read the controller instead of USB. I'm not sure if that's true, but we're going to do it anyways. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna power it and we'll follow the screen.
Alright, it says uh, connect the PS, <coughs> basically connect the controller and press the power button or the home button. We do that. Here it says to press start and select at the same time. So we'll do that. And right at this moment, it's best to unplug your controller. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to unplug it. So it only read the USB, nothing else. All right, let's see. This might take a little bit of time. Console is trying to pick up the USB. All right, there you go. It's ready, and we have to. I'm sorry, I'm doing it with one hand. So I'm, what I'm doing is I'm connecting this piece back. I'm pressing home button, and press and hold start and select for five seconds. So that's what I'm going to do. So now we're at the system version 4.88. So basically the console picked up the USB stick and it's saying it's ready. So all we're doing is pressing the home button. This will also take some time. So I'll be pausing the video in the middle. So I'll be cutting the video in, in the middle. So all it's doing is processing. So we no longer have that message where it says uh, no data was found. And now it's basically uh, trying to read the USB stick. So first it's going to format, uh, clear your console completely, which we have done in the first video. And uh, then it's going to take the system software from USB and we'll try to run it. So I'm going to pause this again. And there you go. It's set up it's a fresh clean sheet so basically setting up a new ps3 console another installation all right there you go after the installation is complete uh ps3 has revived and it's basically telling you to plug it in but i've already plugged in press the home button set up language and time and stuff Sorry for the shaky camera, I'm the only person who's trying to do this and hold the camera straight. PS3 is saved and it's working and it has read the updated file so it's a new PS3 and from, from here on you can uh, go ahead and do your stuff whatever you have to do modding and whatnot and try to break the console again well that's the fun part of it all right cheers guys